Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> We're so excited to be here. So I'm Sandy, and I have my friend here, Jenna, who's going to share with us some great tips today. So we're coming to you with some Korean beauty tips and glass skin, which is new to me. So I'm kind of excited to find out about this technique. So um, I've been building my Mary Kate journey for 26 years, and I'm excited to have Jenna join us. And she's going to tell you a little bit about herself. She'll be our teacher tonight. So take it away, Jenna. Hi, everybody. Don't mind uh, the camera shaking. I'm trying to get my stand to set up. It's not cooperating. Um, I have been doing Mary Kay almost two years. Um, I have three children, uh, twins that are the age of three and a nine-month-old. Um, so life's pretty hectic, and I try to do things while the kids are at preschool and learn these awesome tips and new makeup videos when I can. <laughs> Awesome. And you'll have time to fix your camera, Jenna, because I'm going to talk to them a little bit about <laughs> Okay. Share with them a video. So I'm going to take you off for one second. You can fix your camera. Okay. So this is what we're going to do, girls. I'm going to show you, Jenna's going to show you the amazing tips about how to get glass skin. But as I was looking into what glass skin is, I found out this technique and Jenna shared with me that it's Korean beauty. So Mary Kay came out with some Korean beauty treatments a while ago, and they're just becoming super popular. So this is our Korean beauty masks, which I'm going to share with you a minute. Then we have these Korean beauty hydro gel patches. And I know a lot of you have these. I actually have them on my eyes now because I was getting a little extra hydration. So this whole Korean beauty theory is just a lot of layers of thin hydration. So um, Jen and I both have exfoliated. Um, we don't really have much else on our skin right now except for exfoliation. Um, these are the little hydro gel patches I have on. They look like little tiny, I don't know, polywogs or something, but they're really, packed with hydration. So I was reading up a little bit about Korean beauty. Um, and it really is just to make your skin look really, really flawless, poreless, dewy, luminous, transparent, translucent. Who doesn't want all those great things in your skin, right? So luckily, all of our Mary Kay skincare products take care of that. But Jen is going to tell us how to magnify it and look even better. But before we do that, I just was going to share a quick, since we like to prep the skin first, I'm just going to share with you a quick video about these little patches because they are oops let me just get the sound on um or not the patches this one is actually about the korean mask so you're going to kind of watch this quick video what this is discover skincare inspired by the innovative world of korean beauty that visibly lifts and firm skin in just two weeks Introducing the TimeWise Repair Lifting Biocellulose Mask. Interlocking fibers create a highly absorbent, three-dimensional fabric-like mask infused with a complex of beneficial ingredients. This advanced flexible material ensures a face-hugging fit that keeps the complex in close contact with the skin. After one use, the mask increases skin's moisture levels for 24 hours. After just two weeks, skin looks lifted and firmed, appears more luminous and younger looking. Add the ultimate beauty boost to your time-wise repair regimen. Contact your Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant today. Okay, those are so awesome. And they're kind of, <laughs> we're gonna, if we have time later, I'll show you a video of how to put them on. But um, they're really cool. You leave them on for a half hour. So you sit with those, you get a package of four of these little Korean beauty masks. So of course, we want your skin to be extra, extra, extra hydrated. So make sure you talk to your beauty consultant. I'm gonna pull Jenna up here. Um, because what we want you guys to do is, besides, learning how to make your skin look amazing in your makeup, but have great skin from your skincare. So if you're not sure what type of skin products you need, you can download a free app and it's called the Skin Analyzer app, okay? So we're gonna have Jenna take it away now and don't forget to comment, let us know you're here, who invited you. I see some comments coming through. So we're gonna be doing a live drawing um, later on 
early next week. So we want you to comment and let us know how you felt about the, the products, if there's any feedback or comments you have for Jenna or questions. So we are going to spotlight Jenna now as she takes um, over with that. And I'm going to be following along with, oops, hold on. I got to switch me and Jenna somehow. There we go. Okay. All right, Jenna. Okay, so the trend that we're going to do today is called glass skin. Um, and like Sandy said, this is kind of from the Korean beauty trend. And basically, you want to have a flawless, poreless looking skin. Um, more natural, even when you continue on from doing the glass skin, when you finish your makeup, you want to do a natural eye or a natural lip. The whole idea is to look completely flawless and uh, illuminating without looking oily or, or glossy. Um, so the first thing we're going to start with is I do have a clean face, like Sandy said, and I did exfoliate. Um, usually I'll do it the night before, um, but we're going to start off with the clear proof toner. Um, basically, this is going to remove any dry skin from your face. Um, you can use, I, I'm just using a tissue, but you can use like the little beauty blotters um, anything that you have that can kind of take the skin away from the face. Um, basically, you'll be able to see some of the skin. You'll see discoloration on your tissue from the dead skin being removed. And you want to do that all over. And you'll notice like redness coming to the skin. That's just the blood coming to the top of the skin. And that's what you want. You want a fresh looking clean face to start with. And then once you finish that, we're going to start with, just kind of let that dry a little bit. Um, we're going to, instead of using like a moisturizer, because Sandy was asking me this before, um, a lot of people use the cleanser and then a moisturizer. Instead of using a moisturizer, you want to use something more thin. So I'm using the TimeWise Replenish Vitamin C Serum. And you can just do a couple of squirts. You're going to put this all over your face and just blend it in real well. And this is just going to give more shine and replenish to the skin. And again, like she said, with Korean beauty, it's um, several layers of hydration and clean skin. This is, I mean, it seems like a lot of products, but this is pretty quick um, and easy. I timed myself actually, and it only took me 15 minutes, which I think that's pretty good to get out the door. Um, and the next thing you're going to use is our naturally moisturizing stick. Um, you're going to put this in all the areas that you want to highlight um, or, or show that glass appearance as far as illuminating. So for me, I will be putting it on my forehead, down my nose. I want extra um, hydration under my eyes because unfortunately I get very um, wrinkly here and sometimes powder will... Uh, like glop up and it'll look even more wrinkly. So I'll put extra underneath my eye. And then I'll do it at the apples of my cheeks. Um, and then a little bit above the lip and then on my lips. And then your chin. And then you can already kind of see a little bit of that shine on the skin, just that natural looking glow without looking greasy. And then we're going to actually start the application of the foundation. So I'm using our um, liquid foundation brush. It has a nice angle to it. Um, and I'm using matte foundation. Now, if you have a CC cream or you already are normally to dry skin, um, you can use the luminous foundation. That'll give you that extra glow. Um, for me, it just makes me a little bit more oily, so I still stick with the um, matte foundation. And what I'm going to do is put the matte foundation on the brush. Don't mind me, my foundation's almost off <laughs> because I use it so much. And it's not going to come out. Of course not. Oh, Sandy, I can't hear you. Sorry, I was muted so that I didn't interrupt you. That's okay. <laughs> since since you're getting your foundation on. Oh, I might mix the colors. 
Did you get it? Okay. So I wanted to give them a quick plug about foundation. Sure. If you guys aren't sure what color to wear, we have another great app for that. And I'm actually going to pull it up because I want you guys to write this down while Jenna's getting her foundation onto her brush there. Um, let me just share this real quick because it's important. Like write this down um, because you want to go there. If you haven't gone to your consultant's website yet, you want to go to her marykay.com forward slash whatever her name is, whatever her website is, click tips and trends and then beauty extras. And then you can take a foundation quiz and it'll tell you what color foundation you should wear. So Jenna and I already have both of ours. What color do you wear, Jenna? I'm usually um, neutral uh, 190 beige, um, but I just threw in 150 because I haven't self tanned in a while. So I'm kind of a little bit lighter. So I kind of have a mixture right now. Okay. So you got yours. I got mine. I'm going to make you big again. Okay. okay. So as you can see, I put it oops, on the top of the brush there. And then I'm going to take, just because mine's matte, I'm going to take the um, naturally nourishing oil and I'm going to put one drop on there, only one. And put it right on the top of the brush there. And I'm going to mix it in a little bit. Make sure it's all in there. And then I'm just going to apply it. Um, and instead of wiping it, because we don't want to just wipe off all that moisturizing stick that we just did, I'm going to stipple or dab it onto my face. And you just want to put it all over everywhere first. And then you can blend it in a little bit better. And I go right up onto the eye too. I don't know how many do. I already filled in my brows a little bit. And it's going to look like cakey, but you'll just keep blending. And if you can hear my children in the background, I apologize. <laughs> And again, you can already start to see like the shine, even though this is matte foundation, you can start to see a little bit. So this is funny, Jenna, we both wear the same color. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I have 150. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, if I tan, I'm usually, I can wear 190 or 200. And it's I even found... With, oh, sorry. I was going to say, I found with oh. these foundations, you can wear like a variety of colors. Oh, absolutely. And you can mix some. I go down into my neck too. I know some people do, some people don't, but sometimes I just, I do it. But look at that coverage. Like I had acne and I had real redness there. Like it covered everything. That's one thing I love about our foundation is how full coverage it really is. And then once it's all on, just kind of let it sit a minute. Um, we're going to go in with our concealer next. Um, and again, with the concealer, I'm going to do the highlighting of my face. And I'm so used to contouring and highlighting, so my face is round, so I kind of already know where to go. If you have a round face, this is kind of where you're going to go. Um, I don't know if I should wait for Sandy a minute. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Um, so I'm going to go on the chin and my upper lip again, my nose, make a little tribal symbol on top of my forehead, and then under my eyes. And people are probably like, oh my God, that's so much concealer. But it's really going to blend in. Um, and I'm going to actually use that same foundation brush. And it's okay if foundation is still on there. Um, it'll just blend it in and make it even more natural looking with the foundation. So Jenna, tell them what color concealer are they supposed to Oh, wear? sorry. Yeah. So usually I, I use the lightest that we have. So mine is um, light ivory, but you should go at least two shades darker or lighter. I'm sorry. than your actual skin tone, because the whole purpose of it is to make it look lighter, um, more illuminating, more glass like or flawless looking. And then you're just going to blend the same thing. Stipple it on, blend it all in. 
And I really like to go on the tops of my eyes with concealer because I know we do have the primer. I also use that, but concealer will just make eyeshadow um, pop. So I do always put it on the tops of my eyes. We should have took a before picture. I know. I didn't think about that. Oh, because I see a big difference in my in my sallowness in my eyes from the concealer. Because I yeah. don't, I have never really put concealer on my eyes. I always use the primer. And I thought, oh, really? Yeah, like it just totally brightened my eyes a lot. Oh, yeah, and especially like a lot of people don't realize like you get the shadows in the corners here of your eye. So if you take the concealer right into there, that'll brighten that right up, and you, it just takes any darkness and all that away, any shadows. While you're doing yours, I'm going to pull myself up a little bigger so they can, like, if you can see where my, my concealer, I don't, I think I got it in the right spot. And we're going to be blending, right? <laughs> Am I doing right? Yeah, no, you're doing it right. Okay. Make you just want to make sure it's all the way blended through. I know people panic when they put all this on. They're like, oh my God. But once you start contouring and adding all the rest of the products, it all blends in together. So the next thing um, we're going to do is use the translucent powder and we're going to do what's called baking. And we're going to basically set where um, the concealer is, where the highlighting is um, to make sure that stays in place. And with the illuminating um, or the translucent powder, it has illuminating qualities in it. There's actually from... The, the other makeup guy that I learned from that used to work for Mary Kay, there's like speckles of, and I don't know if this is true, of like um, illuminating or like sparkles in it. That's what he had, he had said in his um, tutorials. So that's the nice thing about this translucent powder is it's going to make it even look more shiny or glossy, dewy kind of look, just even with the powders. So, so even I'm, though it's a powder, it's going to look glossy. Right. Um, so what I do is I just take our blending brush, put a lot, I usually put it in the cap, that's the easiest, and then I take the blending sponge and I put it in there, dab it on, and then I'm going to put a ton on right where the concealers are, and don't blend it, You're, it's called baking, we're going to let it sit there. So as the skin warms up, it's going to absorb into your skin, it's going to set what we just did, and it's going to add that illuminating quality. So every place they put the concealer. The concealer, yep. You can hear your um, powder real good. That must be where your mic is. Oh. So one of the, well, one of the girls just said if you could talk into that a little more. I don't know if it's far for you. There you go. Um, is that better? Yeah, that's good. Okay, sorry. I was sitting a little back. We got you. Yeah, see, wherever that is, that must be where your mic is. <laughs> it's just like right next to my phone because I'm... Okay, so now you're just letting it sit on there. And even if there's like a ton of excess, you want it to just sit there. So this is going under your eyes or on top of your cheekbone or both? Both. All both. underneath here like this. Okay. Right where you put the arrow, basically. Okay. And you're just stippling again, just kind of setting it on there. Almost so you look like a ghost. Oh, well, I do. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. So I want our guests to know that if yes. they're if they're seeing that I look a little ridiculous right now. Listen, I don't contour and highlight very much, so that's why I wanted to do this with Jenna. And I, while she's getting her stuff ready, I got to tell you guys, the enemy is always attacking us, trying to stop us from helping you girls with stuff. And we had this planned, and then of course she's had a family emergency and wasn't going to be able to come on. So she's like. I'm not going to be able to come on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't do it. I'll, I'll practice. I'll learn. But so here she is. I'm so grateful, Jenna. Thank you for always making it happen. Yeah. <laughs> not at my house, but Hey, I'm, I'm making it work. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good point. She, she's made it work no matter what. She's not home. She didn't have her normal stuff, but she's making it work. Thank you, Jenna. Yeah, no problem. Um, so the next part is while we're letting this sit, we're going to contour. So, um, usually typically I use our contour and shade latte. My lovely children smashed it. So now I'm using, uh, our pressed powder in bronze one. 
Um, so you, whatever you feel comfortable in, I do like the bronze one too. It's got like a terracotta color to it. And, um, cause sometimes latte will make me look like, um, ashy. Mm. So it just kind of depends on your skin tone. And there's two, um, contouring colors. There's latte and then what's the other one? Cocoa. Cocoa. Yep. Yeah. Um, which so, I've tried using cocoa before. And, here, I'll show them. So our ebony friends would be using the coke. Oh no. Yeah, the cocoa. We're, yes. using, you, we're using latte. Gotcha. Yes. So now I have the blush brush. It's got a nice angle on it for contouring. Um, and I put that product heavily on there. And then you're just going to dab into the hollows of your cheek here. And you want to go down because you want the face to look thin. If you go and brush up, it's actually going to pull away. It's going to make the face look rounder. So you always want to work in a downward motion, depending on your face shape. So mine's round. I definitely want it to be thinner. So I'm gonna just going to go down. And this is under the cheekbone? Yeah, the hollows. Is okay. that what it's called, right? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, above, you can... <laughs> above is the apple, so I believe this is the hollow. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to look a little bit crazy like this, right? Oh, now. yes, because at the end, you're going to blend and blend and blend okay. and blend. All right. Yeah, you, you look kind of like a, a circus clown right now. <laughs> I know. I'm out in public like this. It's okay. It's going to yep. look great when we're done, right? <laughs> yep. So I'm... Um, after you get enough on here it's where you can see the definition, then I'm going to go up onto my forehead. So you're going to basically make a number three. And you're going to go down. So just in case somebody missed it, Jenna, and they don't have these, this latte or the cocoa, you said they can also contour with a dark powder, mineral pressed, powder, right? Pressed, uh, pressed powder. Oh, pressed powder. Yes. Uh, you could use mineral powder too. Um, I, it makes a mess for me sometimes. So I just, I like to use the pressed powder. The pressed. I think, yeah. And I think it sets better. Okay. Gotcha. On top of the foundation. I think when you double up the mineral powder and time wise foundation, it's just, it's too much. Well, this is crazy. I would never do this if I didn't have your assistance. So girls, we, when we can get back in person, we have to do one of these in person. We could actually, even if you have a consultant um, that you work with, obviously you all probably do. We could schedule one of these and help you along. And then, yeah. And then I'm going to go underneath on the cheekbone. Can everybody still hear me? Cause I'm kind of backing up again. Just I so can, I can see in my, I, in my mirror. Yeah, let us know in the chat if we if you guys can hear. Okay, I can hear her because she's on my thing. But okay, so now, right along the jawline. Yeah, line. the jawline. Did I say cheekbone? I probably did. Yeah, right around the jawline. Dark. Yep, dark. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, you're gonna. You look like a, a striped tiger. <laughs> I I do. I'm so, ready for Halloween now. <laughs> yeah. So this is even the next fun part. We're still continuing the contouring. So I'm going to take our um, eye crease brush. It's got an angle on it. And just to accent your nose and contour it even more, I use the same bronze color. And I'm going to start um, up here at the corner. Oh, we can't see. Me. Oh, I was going to say we couldn't see you. At the corner of your eyebrows. I move my mirror closer. And you're going to go down. This is hard to do it and camera and mirror. Yeah, because it's backwards. Yeah. So you're going down like that. There we go. Because it's going to make your nose look thinner. And you always want to, again, pull down. Never go up. That's a good tip. What a difference. Holy smokes. Oh, there's the babies. That's actually my brother's baby. It's her, oh. bed, it's her bedtime. And then I go at the tip of the nose. And then that's just going to elongate your nose. I know it looks ridiculous, but once it's all together, you can already see my nose shapes different. Yeah. 
than what it was. And then I take a little bit underneath my lip here and just to make it look like you have a, a lower or a, a fuller lower lip. Wow. All right, see, it looks already a little bit bigger. <laughs> and then um, we're going to blend now. You're gonna take your big fluffy brush and you're gonna blend everything that you just did. I mean, really blend, like really powder it all out. Okay, so do we have anything on that brush or you No, just... no, just a plain brush. Okay, so let me grab mine. You're just going to blend every single thing you just did. Okay. So for those of you, somebody commented again that it was quiet. So oh, sorry. no, that's okay. Maybe I can be louder. So we're blending. Does it matter what direction we're blending? Nope. Just, just want to, you want to blend everything out that you just did. Okay. Cause you want it to look all natural. And you don't want to have lines. You want to blend these lines all together. So obviously a clean brush, like a big powder brush is, yes. is, is essential. Yes. You definitely need this for all things. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a lot of work, but I'm sure it'll be fun. But I know that doing some uh, extra beauty treatments might help <laughs> with not having to do so yes. much of this, huh? <laughs> Yes, but like I said, if you do this all the time, I contour and highlight all the time. So again, it only takes me like 15 minutes. If I just do contour and highlighting and not do all that prep work first, it literally takes me eight minutes to get all, everything on. Really? Yes, I've timed myself because I'm like, I know people want reasonable, you know, beauty applications, not these long, especially if you have to work in the morning, can't do all this. And I, it, it takes me eight minutes. Like I can get it done and get out to take the kids to school. Yes. And what I appreciate is you, you have three little kids under the age of four, right? Yep. <laughs> under the age of three, three and okay. under. Three and under. So girls, yes. ladies, moms, don't let yourself look bad because you got little kids. Take no. time for yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like the highlight of my day is putting on a face. Right. <laughs> Besides my, my lovely children. Wow. Okay. So I gotta say, I was always afraid to contour to that extreme, but yeah, if you keep, if you just keep blending and like I said, you, you can find different colors too. If you're not happy with the contouring colors, cause it is kind of limited with only the two I use, like I said, I use more of the terracotta color. It just, I don't know. It goes better a little bit with my skin color. I do use latte too, but it's broken right now, but I, I like, I don't know. It looks more natural tan to me than um, sometimes the latte. I, just, I think it just depends on your skin tone. I'm already more ashy because I'm neutral. So same thing, if you're cool, it might look more ashy or blue on you than um, tan. Awesome, okay. And then the next step is the highlighting. Um, so you're gonna take, uh, same thing, a blush brush. Um, you can use the same one. I just kind of wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm using the um, latte, or I'm sorry, the highlighting uh, color glazed. Oh, glazed. Okay. So again, you're just putting it on your angled brush, blush brush, and you're going to put in the same spot that we did all the highlighting. So you're going to go back through, not under the eye, but again, the apples of the cheeks. And this is where you're really going to see the uh, illuminating effect or the shine, I should say. So while you're doing that, we're going right on the apples and above the cheekbone or right on the cheekbone? Right on the uh, apples right here. Just on the apples. Okay. So one of our, I want to give a shout out to one of our friends, Catherine, she's on and she gave me this beauty hack idea for cleaning yes. your brushes you know that i love that i have to do that i still haven't do haven't done it yet yeah i wouldn't have done it either but she gave it to me as a nice gift so if you guys go to the dollar store you can find these little boxes and put one of these little hair sponges in there to clean your brush so like going from the contour to the highlight you just kind of can clean your brush 
So, okay, so Jenna, we're using glaze on the apples. Yep. Okay. And then if you want to just add a little bit more, you can just to distinguish where you contoured, you could put a little bit in between the two places you contoured. So above the jawline, but below the cheek. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, you girls that are watching this beauty experience, you got to book one with your consultant because it is way more, it's fun to watch, but it's fun to do in person. <laughs> and you can already start to see, like, see how it's all very shiny, very glassy looking. Yeah. All where you contoured. Beauteous. And then um, the last, well, second last step. You could take it that further look if you want and take the eyeshadow uh, crystalline and you take a little bit on your finger Oop, as I drop mine and you put even a little bit more in those same spots that I just did. Okay, just in case anybody else missed it because I did. Did you put the glaze on your nose too? Yes. Oh, down your nose where you contoured. Okay. I'll wait for you. No, okay. Yep. All, all those same things. And then yep. um, you can do it uh, in the corners of your eyes too. Okay. Now I'm going to do this. Okay. Crystalline. So even though this is a shimmer, this is good for any skin type. If, if you have crepey eyes or whatever, this should be good. Yeah, because you're not getting up underneath your eye. You're okay. just still staying in those places where you had put the contouring. Um, and your skin is already smooth and double moistured. Because uh -huh. we put the moisturizing sticks there. But no, I wouldn't be going under your eye with that with the crystalline. That's going to accent wrinkles. Um, and then once you do that, we're going to um, set your face with um, our makeup finishing spray. So I just do, I know you're supposed to do like an X. I kind of just, I go all over. And I just let that set. Okay. Okay. And then believe it or not, we're not done. We're just going to add blush and then we're done. Oh, we're not done. Okay. No. So you do the finishing spray first before your blush. Before the blush. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, that way we know we've definitely set the glass appearance. Oh. And then the blush I'm using, I believe it's Rogue Rose. Yeah. Is Rogue Rose. So again, you can use the same highlighter, blush brush, the contouring just kind of wipe it off a little bit even if it has still some of the shimmer in it it's good and then you're just going to go under the highlight so like on the actual cheekbone because so you don't want to just cover up everything you just did you just want to add a little bit of a flushed color a healthy natural flushed look wow I think Jenna would have to run us through this in the morning so I can get ready to go. <laughs> you make it, you make it feel easy. <laughs> yes. It, it, I'm telling you, practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Cause if I was to have to do this again tomorrow, I hope I'm going to, I'm going to watch this again. So I know how to do it. Oh, and you once, guys. And once you do it like that first time too, you'll kind of learn more like, Oh, I, I don't like this color or I want to get a different color or I need to do a different shape. Maybe you find out you think your face is this shape, but it's really not. So you, you kind of just practice and, and learn different techniques to make it work for you. But All right. I love it. Let's see. I'm going to give the girls an opportunity to ask questions, Jenna. Sure. So sure. how did you, um, okay. So you've been doing your makeup like this for a while. Okay. I wish we had a before and after photo. That definitely looks pretty glazed to me. Yeah. Or what are we calling? Glassy. <laughs> yeah. Glassy, like poreless. You want it to just look like that natural, like glow. Right. Okay. As you turn. Wow. Okay. That is really cool. Okay. So 
Let's see if we have any questions. I'm just looking on there and then I want to remind the girls something. Is there anything else you want to add about that? Um, me? Yeah, so let me ask you. So would you then finish this off with like mascara and lipstick? Yes, or? yes. So like th my look isn't done. This is just like getting that. If you want that type of glass skin look, then you can finish your actual eye makeup. Now, like I said, they want you to stick with like a natural eye. So for me, I would probably use, I'm going to totally have a brain fart of what color it is. Hazelnut. Mm. I would just, I would put hazelnut probably just in the creases and maybe some blossom just on the lid. Okay. And, you know, I already filled in my brow very lightly with a pencil. And then I would use um, our new uh, lash -arama, right? It's called? Fanorama. Fanorama. <laughs> Fanorama. I Fanorama. Fanorama or uh, mascara. And then um, probably maybe one of our new lip glosses and any of the nude colors. Okay. I would do something natural like that. Looks great. Your skin looks super great. Thank you. All right. So practice makes perfect girls. So I think the key too is blending. So if I wasn't blended, could I just blend some more? Oh, absolutely. You just keep, you <laughs> can keep going. Like I just noticed like a spot here. Like, All right. So that was my first time doing a glass look. I love it. And Jenna's been doing this for a while and she's been so enthusiastic about it. So we're going to bring Jenna back for another session. She is like our makeup guru. Everyone has a gift and talent, right? And hers is definitely, she's a, a makeup guru and I always am getting great tips from her. So thank you, Jenna. I appreciate you working around this craziness that you had going on tonight. I know I miss everybody. I can't wait to get back in the studio. I know it would be great to see everybody, but thank you. At least we could do this and provide this was a happy skin hour beauty sesh. So if yes. you guys, I forgot to ask if you had your drinks, you could put your little drink emoji there. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget that um, if you were on, make sure you comment just that you watched and who your beauty consultant was. Cause we have on December 15th, we have a live cash bash drawing. So anybody that watched our videos, goes into that. So make sure you tell your consultant, even if you watch the replay, you can just write replay um, and put a tip that maybe you learned if you have any questions you want to ask Jenna, but we appreciate your time, Jenna. I know you got to get back to your family. So thank yes. you. Thank you for being with us tonight. And we'll look forward to your next ideas of beauty glamour tips you got for us. All so right. Thank you everybody for okay. watching. Bye ladies. Bye.